Hello again guys, this is me, Pesha Pepper 10 Unboxing and today we're going to unbag or I guess yeah, un unbag or unbox this $1.18650 uh, battery I don't know if this 18650 uh, lithium iron barrier is legit I hope it is legit like it doesn't it, it isn't filled with sand and whatnot so so here it is so basically I bought more 18650 battery because I'm gonna use it for the I'm gonna put it in my DIY power bank that I bought and reviewed I don't know when that video will be up on my channel but yeah subscribe guys turn on the bell so you can turn on the bell so you can get notified when I upload that video <laughs> So now I just got there open this package as you can see right there so oh wow so great so I guess the protective uh, layer it is basically cardboard and it uh, basically not bubble wrap and whatnot so uh, how do I do this without Mr. Snip Snip hmm, how will I do this guys huh. oh look Percy hello you're here <laughs> Oh, kawaii kit koneko chan. Koneko chan. So, uh, how do I open this thing without Mr. Snip Snip? Huh. I guess we'll be right back when I somehow figure it out on how to remove this without Mr. Snip Snip. So after 5 minutes, I basically successfully removed the cardboard protection. So now as you can see, the berry is inside of this vacuum sealed plastic. Pretty neat and it looks like uh, these berries are refurbished. Like came from old laptops, basically the laptop berries and whatnot. Or from some old devices that works on 18650 berries, like I guess power banks and whatnot. But for now, uh, let's remove it and throw it in the trash because we need to help the environment. Yeah! So now, there you go, this is gonna tear it. And, uh, yeah, the plastic uh, wrapping is pretty tough, as you can see right there. <laughs> wow, it's pretty tough, guys. Uh, this is hard. So, I guess we'll be right back when I successfully remove everything from its plastic casing. So, now I've successfully removed the plastic, uh, you know, wrapping around it. And now let's, let's test this on this digital multimeter that I've reviewed also on this channel. I don't know when the video will be up, will be up on my channel, but just turn on the bell, guys. Subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, so basically, let's now turn it on to DC and to measure the uh, voltage of the battery. Let's see if it isn't dead yet. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, so you, can, you guys can see how much voltage is there in the. There you go. So positive to positive, negative to negative. I don't know if you can see that guys I guess let's put it closer to the camera right now so just do, oh, wait 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 I guess let's do like that so negative to negative positive to positive and so we're basically getting 4.8 volts wow 4.08 volts hmm, pretty decent it still has them juice inside of it now let's try out the other one do the same thing positive to positive negative to negative so it wouldn't like short circuit my multimeter <laughs> so as you can see right there wait well we're not getting any we're not getting any reading wait am i wait wait to tomate there you go I guess now you can see it properly <laughs> very smart percy now let's do that again so you can see how much voltage the other battery has or have so we're getting a reading of 3.93 volts 
so I guess it still has pretty decent amount of juice inside of it now let's try the other battery and we're getting 4.05 volts volts yeah pretty neat so it, it, those three berries has uh, has still uh, you know have them juices inside of it now let's try this other one so now oh what nani point nani color eh? instead of nani wait wait shut on what i'm doing something wrong oh there you go uh so we're getting a read of Yo, is this battery dead? Chotomate. Hmm, let's, uh, let's put it on the bed. So we can see. Oh, wow, okay, okay. So we're getting a read of 3.85 volts. Hmm. It still has, the, it still has pretty decent amount of, uh, of juice inside of it, or volts, voltage, you know. Now let's try the other one. We're getting a reading of 3.82. Wait, yeah, 3.82 volts. Pretty decent, pretty decent. And I bought like 8 pieces of them. <laughs> now let's try the other one. So we're getting a read of 4.09 volts. Wow, so great. And now let's try the other battery. And there we go. So we're getting a read of 3.86. Oh, pretty decent, nonetheless. At least, not at least there wasn't you know a battery with two volts in it or one volt or basically a dead battery, you know. Now let's try the last one. We're getting a read of three, uh, three point seventy six volts. Pretty cool, guys. So it seems like every single one of them is legit. They have power in it, and it it wasn't now you know dead yet. You know, good thing, nice one to the seller. Uh, maintaining the voltage and now i'm gonna test this out on my diy power bank so i guess yeah i guess we're just gonna test it out and the weight of it is pretty decent you know basically a normal 8650 battery weight and the color is pretty neat shiny red <laughs> seems fancy and it seems like it will last long so now let's put it in my DIY power bank and now it's it's it is inside my DIY power bank as you can see right there and it is powering my USB devices right now so yeah so yeah guys that's basically it comment down below uh, if you have any questions about this cheap uh, 18650 battery don't hesitate to ask like this video subscribe and that's basically it bye Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake